Hey guys, today's video is going to be the most productive animal that I think that every person can raise, no matter what size farm or homestead you have. The one animal you need on farm that can do more for your farm and more for you than you can imagine. And guess what? It's not these guys. That's what this video is going to be about today. chickens we think of uh, cows we think of horses we even think of goats and sheep and pigs but we leave one animal out that i think is probably one of the best animals that i can imagine that you need on your farm or need it for your home or even for your apartment i honestly believe this is one of the best animals to have and here's the reasons that i believe that so let's go over the top reasons of why this animal is something you need for your homestead Yeah, it looks like a good bucket of what? Plant Nasty. food. <laughs> Plant food. <laughs> so this is why we believe the rabbits are key number one. So first, they give you a lot of manure and a lot of manure really for not a lot of feed. They don't eat a lot. So number one is they give you a lot of manure and it's cold manure. It's cold fertilizer. So we absolutely love it. We use it and utilize it. Misty has utilized it really. I mean, how much have you utilized it? unbelievable and what you're working on a new project which we'll talk about with manure but i clean their pens out one to two times a week i come in here which today it's too cold to spray it all down <laughs> but i'll come back out in a few days and collect all the manure again and then i'll spray everything down and spray it all out so i get that much a week but my problem has been I want to not dump after I make my compost tea, which is basically just putting your water over your manure. After I make that compost tea, I don't want to then dump all of my whole manure over in with whatever I'm fertilizing. I want that manure out. So I'm making a three bucket system and I'm gonna try it out. And if it's really cool, I'll show y'all what I did. I think it's gonna be really cool. So I don't know, we'll see. I'm planning on putting that together today and basically what I'm gonna be doing is filtering the pellets out so I can strain just the liquid off and use that in my plants, which is what I've wanted. I've just had to figure out how I wanted, how, what that's gonna look like for me. For their manure loads, it's excellent because we use it as fertilizer and again we try to be as natural as possible it's really perfect for us in our gardens misty utilizes it right next to our kitchen gardens mostly right here uh versus anywhere else we have not taken it to the big gardens we have utilized it on the broccoli when we were doing the caterpillar tunnels so that is a huge huge benefit second benefit that goes along with that is what they eat we feed ours alfalfa they're eating the organic alfalfa that our dairy girls eat and they do not hardly eat a lot at all so we'll fill up their little bowls you see a little bowl back here and their water every day and their their bowls will still have a little feed in it just about every time i come in so they're not hardly eating a lot at all when you compare that to a chicken now a chicken is vital to the farm and a lot of people think that a chicken's the be all for the farm in which we love the chickens too well misty more than i but they do eat a lot more so to me the the imprint on these chickens versus the rabbits, the rabbits eat a whole lot less and you still can utilize their manure and actually could utilize it a little bit quicker than you can chickens, what you say? Being that's a hot, I mean a cold manure versus a hot manure. Mm -hmm. It's too cold for this. Too cold for this. Another monster benefit to the rabbits. Now you can raise them in rabbit habitats or like us where we're collecting the manure, they're getting clean bedding all the time. They're not sitting on their manure, they're above their manure. So but we're able to utilize it and that's what's more beneficial to our farm. But they have bunnies basically like every month. bunnies. <laughs> so they are literally having bunnies every month if you wanted them to. So every 28 to 35 days, they're able to have a litter of bunnies and what that's good for is if you are using them 
for a source of food, uh, which I think is, is huge because they allow you to have quick access to a meat source, especially for protein. If you can't raise a big farm, you don't have cattle, you don't have chickens to where you can let them graze on your area, or you're in a neighborhood where chickens are not allowed because they're too loud, rabbits are perfect because they don't chirp, they don't make any noise, they don't cock a doo doo, do they? So it allows you to have a, a protein meat source that's quiet, that no one knows, and they don't smell. I mean, they really don't. The most they smell is when we're dumping the manure to utilize it. Other than that, they're not a smelly animal. What not as long, I mean, I mean I'm if sure you let, them if go, you let yeah. it sit for months at a time, it would be really nasty. Now, I will say this too, her bedding, the bedding that they use for their, like where she gets in the house, her little babies in this little house, and I don't dump this in my compost because it's got grass seeds in it from the hay. Well, it depends on, yes, it depends on what we're bedding with. If we're bedding with shavings, it's not then a big deal. Then it's fine, right. But I've been using a little bit of hay for them because they like to nibble on hay too. So I will use some hay sometimes in their bedding. And I will either dump this over in the cow pasture or throw it to the chickens, either one. It, it'll benefit. They give you cold manure, a lot of it, to be able to utilize in your gardens. They eat they do not eat a lot and uh, we give them complete organic alfalfa or organic timothy and we're using a stanley blend they love it and it's phenomenal for their system but also it gives back to our soul as well because they're not getting a conventional feed uh, they also can nibble on hay and things like that like any other animal and to be honest with you they're not as nasty so we really like them for that now like we said with we'll recap the last thing is, is dealing with the fact that they could have a bunch of bunnies at one time you can produce a lot of rabbits if you're wanting to. I mean, they base a whole number system off of it, Fibonacci numbers of rabbits, because they have so many and they can grow so quick. And basically in eight to 10 weeks, you've got this size bunny right here that's beautiful. And you can either utilize it for being a mate for you know your female or your male, or you can actually uh, process him and there you go, you have protein. So you're, you're able to have reproduction really quick, cheap and easy feeding, using the manure, quiet for a neighborhood so if you're on a smaller patch of ground and you can't have a lot of access to louder animals or bigger animals or you're worried about what your neighbors are going to say they're they just they're very very good to have on a smaller homestead and smaller farm even on a bigger farm they've been really utilized here more for their manure more than meat but to me i told misty this allows us to have a smaller meat source a quicker meat source like a chicken but it allows you to not have the impact that the chickens make. That makes it where you're not having to have as big of an impact, you're not feeding as much, and you can utilize their manure quicker. So this is why we think this is a strong animal for your homestead, and we think you need to invest in some, some rabbits. Because you can sell them, you can eat them, you can use their manure, they could be a whole benefit for your farm. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this content, go down here, push subscribe, because we need you to support us by just pushing subscribe and ringing the bell so you can see more content as it comes out. God bless. Happy homestead, y'all.